Greetings and welcome back to Foundation. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I've been sitting here um, as I've been preparing to record stuff, just listening to the music in this game. It is so relaxing and wonderful. Um, I, <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. So anyway, uh, we're back to our little village here. I think I'm going to change this a little bit uh, because I'm going to want to make a pathway eventually to this area. Um, let's just go ahead and allocate this, this stuff for that. I think we'll do, uh, reforestation will cancel through here. I want to, I'm thinking of having like another market stall over here for stuff. Um, and just have them chop all these trees down, um, so they can have wood. All right. Have we allocated a fisherman? Yes, we have Carl as our fisherman. Uh, oh, I forgot to bring up our villager list. We have lots and lots and lots of villagers. I'm wondering if we should stop immigration. Let's just do that. Oh, we have stopped. All right. Sorry. I, um, I was, I was just so dreamy. I forgot to check a lot of things before I started. Dear me. Uh, anyway, we are getting things, um, going. Okay. I wish the hitboxes on clicking these buildings were a little bit bigger. I'm like literally clicking every, oh, there we go. Okay. It's that road post uh, or that road post, <laughs> the construction post. Okay. Um, right. We need polished stone for this. We need planks. We need tools. And, uh, we have our villagers. Now we need to get polished stone made. Now, do we have something like this? There's a stone mason hut. Aha. Looks like we need a commoner. And all these others also need commoners. So I think we're going to allow our housing upgrades to happen. Um, I want to build the church first. Let's see. Where are... Um, there we go. We have our list of stuff that we have here. Let's go ahead and just use this. Let's move the villager list down so it's a little bit neater on the screen. Uh, let's see. What have we got? I'm looking at the tools specifically. We only have 10 tools. How much does the church still need? They still need like... Uh, 19 tools. How many do we have um, being ordered? Let's see on trade here. Let's trade resources. Put this in the corner here. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Tools, tools, tools. Here we go. Let's order 20 tools just to have them on hand. Um, hopefully we can afford them with the better we have. Um, and that'll, that'll be good. Okay, nice. Uh, one thing that we definitely need though is another market because this market is selling berries but uh we could definitely use another market selling um which mccollum's fish because we have the fisherman's hut down here and there's no place to sell the fish so let's go here go to the market add another food market oh it's already being made goodness me silly me <laughs> i didn't even see it hmm. okay let me click on this oh there we go let's i'll try to click on the post first that seems to be a useful thing to do. We just need some cloth for this. All right. And our church is getting built. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward here. I apologize for being slightly derpy today. It's okay. I, I just love playing this game though. It's so nice. We have this place. We have the 50 of those 18 fish ready to go. Nice. We so far have a weekly profit of 50. That's quite good. Uh, it's good that we're in the plus. We want to get our numbers up higher so that hopefully I would really love to buy this plot of land here. And you know, also I've noticed there's these resources here. It looks like iron to me possibly. Um, and I want to work toward that hex tile. We have a lot of stone and there's some berries over here. There's more berries in this plot. What I'm thinking is when we get the farm things like the wheat farm and the bakery and the windmill, I'd like to have those kind of at the entrance to this forest here and have the farm. There's plenty of farmland in here that we can, um, we can have our, our people uh, working on. So, all right, we finished a house. We're almost finished with the church. They still need 16 tools. Wow. They need a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay. It'll be fine. Okay. These guys still need the polished stone. All right. I guess we should. Hmm. Villager capacity 20. 
Yeah, they can't actually go and worship here until we finish it. So I'm kind of hoping they're going to get stuff. Do we need another builder? How many builders we have? Let's see. We have two builders. I could make Lily a builder, maybe. For a bit. I also want to just look at our buildings here. Workplace list. There we go. See how many workers we have. Goods market. This one. Let's assign someone there. Stonecutter camp. Hmm. I don't know if we need anybody, to be honest. I think we are full on all that. All right. So we have people who don't have jobs and are eating food. Um, so we need to find them something to do, I think, so that they can contribute to the colony. Um, because they are very valuable citizens. I mean, we want them here. We just... Uh, this is going to take uh, a person. Come on, guys. Keep building. Maybe if I add another builder... Another builder. Okay. We'll, we'll change those people from uh, to be not builders. Robin is assigned to the construction. I wonder if nobody else is allowed to be assigned. But what we have now is we have lots of builders and then we can authorize the housing upgrade. So let's just do that so that other people can build. Okay, Lily is doing that. Oh, the church has noticed our dedication to God and holds us in higher regard. Excellent, plus 10 uh, points on um, the clergy. Happiness is less impacted by 10%. Perfect, this is very good. So now we're gonna have a lot of these houses starting to upgrade themselves. Um, and then we, we can have the builders doing this. This is very good. A house is upgrading, excellent. Ooh, so many of them, very nice. So Robin and Lily are working there. What about these other houses? Oh, I'm calling. Hold on. So many houses. Yay. This is actually quite good that we have all these houses upgrading because we need them to be... We need to have some commoners here. Okay. Friedrich is bringing two planks here. We're going to need lots of tools. That's the only issue we might have. Wow. Our, our butter is in the negative. Man, that is rough. Okay. And this place has so much stuff. Wow. Uh, trade window. I should leave this trade window open, actually. Um, we have selling wool. Can we sell wool yet? Yeah, sell all above five. Huh, yeah. Sell above 20. Fish. Sell above 20. Yeah, we're selling all the stuff. Sell above 20. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's look at our neighboring cities. We did enable with Northbury. So they should be buying some stuff, wool and clothing, once we get to it. All right. But uh -huh, they have to come by and pick it up first. I'll close the trade window. I, I don't need it open. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, there we go. Five new buildings unlocked. Look, this is one of our first uh, houses. They've added stuff. They have a table on this side and they have a basket of wine and a bucket and some logs. That's nice. Oh, I like it. Okay. Ooh, wait, is there another thing here? Oh, these people also have a basket and they've got some stuff on a picnic table outside. There's another house with stuff. This is good. I like this. Oh, and they have like an upgraded entry or not an entry because there's no door behind it. <laughs> it's just a detached veranda, shall we say? Uh, anyway, we now have stuff. This is great. So we can now build all of these new things. These things require 20 commoners to unlock. Uh, okay, so I do want to get uh, a stonemason hut right here. In fact, I might want to have two of these things. Let's put one and two. Because these guys can only um, have one um, uh, villager working there at a time. So I think that's a good thing to have those. I wish that these, you know what I wish for? I, th I wish that these would have, you could like widen this menu out and say if they're idle or not. Like some of these people are, okay, fetching resources. That's good. Fetching, fetching. Um, what is it? Looking to fill my needs or whenever they're in like this, this loop cycle of like, they're not doing anything. I mean, filling needs is good. Oh, oh, our building has become unlocked here. Let's assign fish here. Uh, and we do not have... Oh, wow. We, we need to assign an available villager. Actually, this one is does not need to have anyone working here. 
because um, we don't have any goods yet. We have no t-shirts to sell them. Oh, right. What are we doing? Five bread in 15 days. I think we're not going to do this because I don't have bread yet. I mean, we don't even have bread in any of the warehouses or anything. So I think we're going to have to pass on that one for now. But it'll be fine. We'll get there. What if I should build another fish hut too? Can we? Are we selling fish actively? No. Fish get sold when we connect to middle, which costs a thousand butter. Man, those people really have some toast to be, <laughs> to, to be added to. Okay, we've got our sheep farms here. Have lots of stuff here. Building complete. Stonemason's hut. Let's assign some people here. There we go. Okay, so it's one stone to one polished stone. Um, okay, this is almost done. The second one. I'm going to cancel some of these other people to be not builders. Uh, can I... Excuse me. <clears> hmm. <throat> Right. All right, you can be a stonemason. And then we'll just have to switch people later. I wish I could change them back to nothing. Like, uh, Helen here should be... I just wish I could unclick them. Oh, I can unclick them. Never mind. There it is. Okay, that's good. And Lily also, let's unclick you. So we have... I want to have about two builders. One, uh, two... There's two. Okay, so we have two and then a couple unemployed people. We do need to probably build more houses as well. Okay, we're getting somewhere. This is nice. We're going to start getting polished stone. There's a second piece of polished stone already there. Yes. All right, guys. I'm wondering if I should build some houses around this area too. What do, what do we have on the desirability looking? Residential. Ooh, it's not looking good over here. Um... This is looking very good. Maybe I'll extend the houses here. I could do that. That sounds fun. Uh, let's just do that then. Um, da -de -de -de, the residential zones. Oh, wait, not that, not there, not there. In case we want to extend the church a little bit, let's just have this painted this way. We might have a road between here and that area. Let's just do that. That's looking very good. I think I would like to cancel this extraction zone here for now. Just because I want to really focus on getting these trees out of here. There we go. Oopsies. I accidentally right clicked. Oh, forager. There we go. We gotta have those berries available to our foragers. Anyway, they should get these because they are the closest trees. All right, so let's turn off the desirability layers. Oh, there's a quest list. Yes, we want that. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yes, we have a tailor's workshop. Helen, guess what you're going to be? You are going to be a tailor. Excellent. Most excellent. This is very good. I'm, I'm quite happy about things. Now then, um, I want to build a oh we can build a road sign oh road signs we can also build decorative trees around but i want to put a decorative bush here to add some happiness there let's put some road signs out i really like these put one here um i love that they actually have arrows that you can um that you can use on these i'll put one here so let's go this way like that oops no oh there we go. Yay. Put them in actual ways that they might face. Oh, this is nice. I like this. I like this very much. Okay, so we do have... Oh, 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 oh. We have 500 butter. Ho, ho. We're going to buy this. I really want to buy this area. Uh, let's go to our property thingy-majingies. Territory. Okay, 500 butter. We'll add to our royal taxes 25 butter. Uh, so we're going to have to be really careful. But let's see, we're two tiles away from that iron. I think that's a good thing. So the next one is also going to be 500 butter. Um, yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead and I want to now also paint an extraction zone here uh, going like this way. 
Okay, and then the forestry. I want to kind of define the forest. Where I want there to be forest. I want it to be at least here. Um, so that the, the lumberjacks have plenty of space to take wood. In fact, I will make it a little bit rounder on this end there. Um, yeah, I like this idea. We can have another berry gathering hut over here, I think. Because berries are, are really high in demand and we're selling some too. So we can keep these guys in there. Okay, let's take off the extraction of this area for now. I would really like to focus on getting this area cleared so we can have a road coming through here. I think that would be good. Yeah, I, I like this idea. This is very good. Um, we also have one thing that I've been kind of like, hmm, about because we have the access to build a Lord's Manor. However, um, in my test game, <laughs> unlike the, uh, the church, the church doesn't cost us anything. Maintenance costs zero. The Lord's Manor costs a bundle, like a lot. So it is uh, huh, crazy, crazy expensive. Uh, when you build it piece by piece, I think in my test game, I built something that cost 467 uh, prof, um, uh, per month, which is just too much. I mean, we can't support that. Our budget for last month we took in 450 and then the upkeep cost for all these other buildings was 257. So um, I'm really surprised that the foresters camp is so darn expensive. Oopsies. Um, and if we look at the sheep farm, maybe I should uh, delete one of the sheep farms too, because that's very expensive. Stonemason's hut, weaver's hut. Um, maybe a, a stonemason's hut too. I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe we should delete this. Yeah, let's delete this. Well, it just says two butter then why? That's the thing. It says two butter, but in this budget thing, it says, let's see, sheep farm, 28. So I don't know why it's that expensive. Well, so let's just delete this one. I can't afford that. That's just too much. And then we have an extra colonist to do stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, we might, I don't know if we need the too many of these guys. Do, or can we sell polished stone? Yes, we... Oh, no. That's a buy. No, we can't sell it. You know what? I'm going to get rid of one of the stonemason's huts. Go away. Yep. Sorry. Another time. Thanks. <laughs> um, berry picking. How much does that cost? You know what? I think the berry picking possibly outweighs the, um, the cost. That would be the... Let's look. Lumber, sawmill, warehouse, fishers, sheep well. Oh, berry gathering is free, I think. Let's just look at this hut. Yep. Oh, it says one. But one in the budget turns into who knows how much. Gathering hut. There it is. Three. Here it was seven. I I don't understand these these amounts of butter here. I really don't. Um, however, the we are selling a lot of... Uh, of berries so i think what we need to do is we need to get another gathering hut and you can be here and i do want to build another warehouse let's see i kind of wish i could plan for stuff i'll build the let me just look at these areas we have this whole thing here i really wish i could just tell them to I, c I can actually tell them okay i can see the line where i drew here so that's going to be fine all right i want to build first a warehouse and the warehouse i want to build ish around here because we're going to have this road coming through i want this also to be close to the market so that people can fetch things from the market okay so that's going to be that there we're going to need our windmill to produce um this stuff oh oh wow oh that's pretty oh what a beautiful windmill oh my god that's gorgeous holy fuzzy cats okay and then there's a bakery but let's build the windmill first or you know what i'll build the the windmill out um maybe the other side actually the windmill probably needs to go in an area that could be windy <laughs> jesus yeah um maybe we'll have it this way 
so that it makes sense with the airflow coming through here, possibly. Okay, so we'll build. Really would like to build it here, but this makes more sense. Uh, let's build it here then. Okay, so that's our windmill. Okay, let's uh, proceed then. And I want to make an extraction zone for the berries here. Okay, good. And then we'll have our road going. Oh, they're already starting the road. This is very nice. We could build another food hut right around here, I think. Now, are we getting stuff? Are we, do we have people? Helen, yes. Oh, we're getting stuff made. Oh, 40 t-shirts. Excellent. Now, did we fire somebody? Yes, we did. Okay, we're going to get our market tender and they're going to have stuff going on here. This is great. This is fabulous, in fact. So I'm guessing... I wonder if I should build another market stall down here for food. I could, because there are people here, and there's going to be people living down there. Um, there's not a lot of people here, though. Most of the villages out here. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think it'll be fine. All right, we're going to have... We'll have another food market, I think, here once we get stuff going. Ooh, housing is, is upgrading. Okay, they're going to be house level three. Well, then impressive all right the warehouse is complete let's go in oh it doesn't jump there it does no it doesn't jump if it's on screen either that's unfortunate uh, it must be a broken link thing anyway um yeah assign an available villager oh my god i have no more available villagers this is bad uh will cause immigration to happen hello yes thank you good uh anybody else that i need to be elsewhere i think we're good Ooh, 330. We can build a bakery. All right, let's choose our slots. We're going to need... I want to have all of the stuff we have here, um, which is going to be like um, corn, <laughs> bread. We need flour. Okay, and then we, we need wheat. And... Hmm. We could leave this slot open. We could put it for berries so that these guys don't have to carry it all the way to the warehouse over there. I think that would be wise to have another berry slot because we often have those quests for berries. So I think we'll go with that. Oh, and I want to build the bakery. Very important. Oh, this is going to be so nice. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks awesome. Look at all those pretzels hanging around and the loaves. Oh, the happiness is real. Okay, so this is what confuses me. They have, there's the street sign, clearly meant to be on the street, and there's a door. But this also looks very inviting from that side. I kind of wish that we could have it um, not face that way. I like the outside. Um, we could do it this way, too. That's another thing to do. Or we could just do it straight facing the street. Do a little bit of skew. A little bit of skew. A little bit of skew to have never hurt anyone, right? Okay. Decoration. We can have a bush, maybe or a tree tree bush costs two butter uh, tree is five let's put the tree there sounds fine i kind of also want to put trees in front of this church or should i put bushes i should put bushes because we like them okay we'll have a bush here and one there as the entrance to the church and then we can have our decorative tree kind of like there landscaping is a very important part of architecture Okay, that seems okay. Very nice. All right, we are going, going for it. This is great. And I might build a small Lord's Manor. Maybe soon. <laughs> maybe, maybe. What have we got here? Uh, we have tw four points here. Uh, in here, we have, we really need to get some, maybe the stone parts for the Lord's Manor, but we need 20 points. We have zero for the clergy. Aha. We have, uh, oh, we need five splendor. Oh no, we're just short. Oh, um, makes me really want to build the church. Oh, the bells, the bells. Yay. Oh, and you can change the bells as well. That's nice. Ooh, are they building another story? Hello. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I like the first bells, I think, best. Okay, nice. This is looking really good. So then, I need some more people. Come on, peeps. Come on in. Let's go. 
So we need to add a... Let's see. What can we... Who can we spare? Okay, we have 50 t-shirts. We have too much stone. I think we're going to get rid of a stone mason stone cutter. So Yol uh, Yolanda... The thing is, do they gain experience? We just said level 1. I wonder if that's not really implemented yet. Ooh, no more uh, wood. Okay, let's get our second stone cutter. Whoever that might be. Market tenor. Okay, Yolanda is actually the second stone cutter. All right, Yolanda, sorry. You're going to be a... Oh, we don't need a miller yet. We need a farm. Ha, <laughs> whoops. Okay, right. We're going to build a farm first because apparently you need those things. Who knows why? Um, yeah, let's build one. We need to build a farm. Wheat farm. There we go. And all of these trees are... Huh, not convenient. Let's see. We have a beginning of a house. Okay, it's that way. We'll add this house here. Okay, that'll be fine. And then we're going to get to our areas of cutting. I want to remove all of this miscellaneous stuff except for that tree maybe. All right, and then we're going to just go back to our... Oh, well, let's have them cut that tree. And then I want to get the farm fields going in. I think we're going to go grab this area here. Maybe they could make a path around there ish. We'll have these fields going this way. This I think that's enough for the sheep there. Um, maybe. Maybe this way. In fact, we can have a nice big field. People can kind of go around this area. Maybe. I don't know. Seems okay to me. Um, right. I want them to cut that tree, please. Ooh, citizens. Wow. Oh! <gasps> That's a very impressive house. Look at this. Oh, I like this. I like this very much. Wow. Okay, that's cool. What do we have? Do we have anything on the building thing? Oh, iron smelters, blacksmiths, coal huts, and iron mines. Oh, we need these. We really need to make some tools, I think, of our own. Um, we can also, we probably should think about building another uh, a manor for ourselves. So we can increase our treasury. Okay, uh, oh, okay, woodcutters could not find resources. Good, I'm glad that you guys got this out of the way. Um, and then we'll, we might even chop down this forest and make this part of the village, I think. I don't know. Okay, just carefully go along the edges here. Okay, this whole thing is good. Let's just color it all in. That should be fine. They only seem to plant these uh, sort of these kinds of trees, evergreens. Okay, take that out. Okay, so this these match very very well uh, here. I could put a food place right here. That's another option, of course. Let's see, reforestation maybe up to making this road pathway a little bit narrow and have a little i don't know i really love the design of this game that you can just add things this way it's so cool to me that you can do this all uh, right so let's see we have this done we need the farm completed first i think there we go the key is clicking on the post so all right let's just proceed then uh resource list is getting longer which is nice all right, who, what do we got here? We have deliver 30 berries, reward 10 uh, sword things. I think we actually need the labor, to be honest, much more. Because I would like to get these stone things. Uh, so we're going to help. How many days? We have 60 days. Um, commoners? I'll help my people. Yeah. Okay. We need 20 commoners. I don't know if we even have 20 commoners. 10 commoners. But th we'll get this stuff then. So we need 30. Oh. I Okay. We had 30 for a moment there. We did. I promise. 28. 20. Okay. So we just had a trader come by. 
This one also needs to be high priority to build. Friedrich is being, bringing logs there. Very nice. 36. Okay, they need to be in the warehouses. Okay, bury people. Put them in the warehouses. I'm looking for the checkbox. Of course, we also have the market people taking from there, so it's a little bit hairy in a way. 58 days left. Okay, come on, guys. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Put those 30 in the thingy majingy. I think what I'll do is I'll set my trade thing to above 30. There we go. And that'll help us without having to worry about it too much. Uh, all right, but I'm going to leave that there for now, I think. Um, because it seems to be a good place uh, to do stuff. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.